I could get into a lot of trouble for letting you in here, Mr. Listen, I really appreciate it, believe me. And I wouldn't ask if it weren't extremely important. I have to find a certain law book. Uh, finding it may help save a, a life. Guess it's okay. Things would go a lot faster if you'd help. Yeah? What do you want me to do? Well, I'm looking for a law book. The law book that this page came out of, page 238. Here, this is the page right here. Double jeopardy. What does it mean? Yeah. I really appreciate you giving me a ride right home. Oh, that's all right. I'm just oh. sorry I couldn't get you closer to camp. You're so soaked. Yeah, I know. Oh, and I, I'm really freezing. Well, listen, why don't you uh. take those clothes off? And, you know, try okay. off. I'll make a fire, all right? Thanks, yeah. Oh. Whoa. I guess there must have been some sort of power outage or something. Um, you have a flashlight or candles or anything? Uh, yeah, in the kitchen, there's a flashlight in the top drawer. Oh, God, the radio says we're really in for a hurricane. Yeah, they said uh, it's supposed to hit the whole East Coast, right? I think that's exciting, don't you? <laughs> yeah, it is, really. You know, I'm, I'm looking for some candles, and I, uh... I, um, I, uh, I couldn't find anything else to put on in the dark. <laughs> Please forgive me, I looks dark and, and this was all I could find to put on. No, you look fine. Uh, I was just uh, actually I was looking for some matches. Oh light the fire. Yeah, I I, um, I keep them over here in the bookshelf. Oh really, I guess I must have missed them. Um, this is really the worst storm we've had. Maybe, maybe I should get a weather report. weather report, do we? No, I, I, I guess we don't. Yeah. Come on. Sit down. Dry off. Thank you. Yeah, I'll help you. Oh, no, no, you don't have to do that. I want to. Well, um, I guess I could use your help. I never realized you had such long, beautiful hair. Oh, well, I, I really should cut it off. It, it's a nuisance to me. Oh, no, don't do that. Actually, I think you ought to wear it down sometimes. No, it, it doesn't really fit my image. Maybe you should change your image. Um, thanks. I, um, I, I think it's dry enough. <laughs> Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, no, thanks. You, you've done enough. No, no. Let me. Please.
quite a puzzlement, Lucy. I have to go. What do you mean? Stop. I just can't figure out why a girl like you tries to hide the fact that she's really a beautiful woman. something I don't understand why you would settle for a fantasy lover fantasy lover I... Kevin O'Connor you spent that whole time in love with him and you didn't even know it when you could have any man you wanted Lucy do you really think so I think so Lucy it's Mrs. Davis are you all right oh yeah yeah um I thought you might need some candles. Uh, oh. Since the lights are out here. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you had company. Oh, oh no. Um, we, we were just talking. No, no, I, I, I got a split. I, well, I can still navigate the streets. Well, no, there. so do you really have to go? I mean, I haven't even made your no, tea no, or anything. That's okay. I... Don't worry about it, Lucy. I gotta get going anyway. Good to see you. Good night. Bye. Davis, um, we, we really are just friends. Uh, we were, you know, just friends talking. Oh, dear, I think I've made a big mistake. What? Well, I know, I can see that you and the young man are just friends. But, well, when I found him in here earlier today, I thought he was an intruder. Wait a minute. He, he was in here today? Yes. Earlier? Yes. He said he came by to close your windows. I, I think I did the wrong thing. I called the police and reported him. Any luck getting through to Laurel? No, the lines are still down. I couldn't even get through the hospital. Guess we were lucky to get home at all last night. On the other hand, I sure wish you could have stayed at Lucy's. You may have come up with that law book. You sure it wasn't in the library? I looked through every damn law book in that library. Nothing. You didn't see anything that even looked like it at Lucy's, huh? Well, I didn't really get a chance. Between the lights going out and Mrs. Davis showing up. Mrs. Davis. You've got to come up with that law book. And those sexy clothes of Lucy. I sure wish Miss Davis didn't come in when she did it. I don't. What do you mean? Well, it was getting a little close, that's all. Is Lucy Coe coming on to you? No, not exactly. But when she came out in that robe and I started brushing her hair, let's just say that it got a little warm. That's all. I'm glad Mrs. Davis came in when she did. In other words, our cool Miss Coe is not exactly cool. She got some incredible legs, Jake. You know, with her hair down like that and the legs. I mean, she looks like a different person. I don't want Felicia to hear this, okay? She wouldn't understand. Sure she would. You're an undercover cop doing your job. Here. She wasn't turning you on, was she? Not really. But I can definitely see how some guy would be turned on to her. Kevin, for instance. No, Felicia's the only lady that turns me on. Speaking of the devil. Hi, honey. What are you two doing up so early? Just having some coffee. Would you like some? Yes, thanks. Mm. Well, honey, I was worried when I woke up and you went around. Where were you? Oh, uh, Jake and I just stayed up all night keeping our ear to the radio, you know, because of leaks. It's a good thing I bought batteries last week. The power went out last night. I wonder why all those candles were burning. We will bring the radio in here. We haven't had an update recently. I'm trying to wait up for you. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you didn't. I'm not. I put these on just for you. Mm. Well, I'm sorry again about your friend Frisco. I hope I didn't embarrass you too. No, no. Like I said before, we really are just good friends, Mrs. Davis. 
Well, I'm glad to see that you have such nice friends. Frisco was a very charming young man, and so was that lawyer friend of yours. Lawyer? Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Meyer. Uh, Jake, isn't it? Oh, oh, I forgot to tell you. <laughs> he came by the other day. <laughs> he, he did. He I came... swear my memory gets worse every day. He came by with some papers, and he helped me out with the trash. Such a nice gentleman. Cool. Yeah, um, he, he really is. Funny, he seemed fascinated by the fact that you had a back door. I can't imagine why that would interest him so. No, neither can I, Mrs. Davis. Well, Lucy, I want you to feel free to invite your friends over any time you want. Thank you. I, and I'm really sorry I, I kept you up all night. Something to apologize for. You're good company. <laughs> However, I would tell my friends uh, not to use the back door. Oh, why? Well, you know that nosy Mrs. Dawson that lives across the alley? She sits in her window day and night and watches everything that happens. And she'll tell it to anybody who'll listen. She even caught your friend Jake's ear one day. <laughs> well, I better let you get to bed and get some sleep. You'll be all right alone, won't you? Um, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll be fine, thanks. And, and, and thanks for bringing the candle. Oh, you're more than welcome, dear. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Be, be careful out there, okay? okay. I will.